in Edo and Ogo State. And this, nothing is happening here. And the need for regulatory framework is very, very important. The need to diversify the economy by instrumentality of law, not by directive, not by executive order, but by law. Even if we are to borrow money to develop instrument today, there is no legal framework. So nobody can borrow us money when there is no any law. Even if we are to develop it and bring international skill, there is no law. We don't have any law. There is nothing can develop without law. And that is why this chamber is set up. This is why we are here by constitutional commandment to ensure that we do the needful, to ensure that we participate, Mr. Senate President, for 110 billion bitumen market in the world. How can we as a nation be second, have, have, having second largest deposit of bitumen in the world without participating in the market of $110 billion? The bill is all about drawing attention to an important area that has been neglected, an area that has a potential of earning $110 billion as stated in the statistics that has been distributed to us. And besides, we all know the crisis in the construction industry, particularly with respect to the scarcity and the prohibitive cost of cement and its byproducts. Bitumen is critical not only to the road network, but to the economic growth of Nigeria. Mr. President, I want to also say that there is need to diversify this economy. And the argument that we are establishing too many commissions may not be considered critical at this point. Because we cannot just say because we don't want to create commission, therefore, critical areas should not be looked into. I believe that the bitumen industry is very critical to our economic development, and as such, creating that commission is a way of paying adequate attention to the need to develop the bitumen industry. So I want to support this uh, bill. I have difficulties in accepting that the creation of a commission will by itself lead to exploration of uh, bitumen. I think, Mr. President, that we have to be conscious of increasing overhead costs and creating new and new, more and more commission at a time when we have this much talked about Orosaye report, which already suggests that the Nigeria federal government has too many commissions carrying out overlapping responsibilities. I hold the view with respect, sir, but it is not the absence of law that stops Nigeria from exploiting bitumen and other solid mineral resources. It has to do with the will of the executive and the commitment of government to exploit all resources, whether liquid or solid. My worry is that at the time when we have very little resources, we are borrowing so much to meet overhead, to pay salaries, this in cannot be seen to be enacted laws that will lead to creation of more commissions, which will create more jobs for the elite, but will have no impact on the issue of bitumen, um, exploration of bitumen. I feel we must cautiously find a way to shrink the size of overhead of the federal government. I am not convinced that it is absence of law that led to the situation. It is not about the statistics. It is not about the usefulness of bitumen. Of course we need it. Those countries that have it don't they have all the laws that... Bitumen is nothing but heavy oil. Therefore, I do not think that it is outside the remit of the Petroleum Act for us to create another institution just because of bitumen. It's nothing but heavy oil. It's part of petroleum, which means that all we need to do is to recognize it within our laws and then exploit it in the manner that exploitation is done of all our petroleum resources. I've been read this bill for the second time. 
It is now referred to the Committee on Solid Minerals to report back to this Senate in two weeks.